Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got ILNP Rose Water and Bases Loaded Lacquer on the Black Water Marble. I'm starting off with IMK Peel Ease as my base coat. Beautiful base coat. I love this one. And ILNP Rose Water. This blingtastic thing is just a stunner, even without sun. <gasps> Ugh, took my breath away. I'm telling you. So we're going to go in with our first coat. I did make sure that the IMK Peel Ease was completely dry before I started in with this first coat. It is so ethereal and blingtastic. I love it. Hi, Woody. How you doing? There we go. And now that that's dry, I'm going to go in with the second coat. And I'm only going to do two coats. If I had longer nails, I might would have done a third. But this is going to work out great for what I'm doing today. Woody's going to be back again. Hi, Woody. I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I want to get it to dry down really good. Look at that. Oh, it's like the, all the colors of the rainbow up in there. So pretty. I am going to cap my free edge here. And I'm going to let this dry, of course. Woody back again. Look at that. He is so busy. There we have it. Here's a swatch photo of rose water on its own. I will be using my liquid latex today. This is my tub that I got from Amazon. I just put a little bit into a nail polish bottle with some, you know, a brush so that I could brush it on easy. And I did clean that bottle out really well before I added the latex to it. This is a great deal on that latex. You get a great big old tub of it. For, and you get many, many, many uses out of it. <laughs> I don't always show me doing the latex thing because it's just so awkward and I'm flip-flopping my hand all around. But I figure every once in a while I need to show y'all how I... How I struggle bust through that. <laughs> I've got a little five ounce paper cup with room temperature water in it. It doesn't have to be special water. I've got some toothpicks and pipe green polish clear water. That's going to give me clear rings. And then bases loaded lacquer on the black. So I'm going to start off with the ring of black. I'm not running my toothpick around the edge like normal because I'm just doing a wicked abstract water marble today. I'm not doing a design. So I am doing opposite rings, clear water, and on the black. Just a couple of rings, and then watch. I start off looking like I'm going to do something, and then I just get all crazy with it. I wanted something just really organic and, uh, you know, not really a design. I was just going for something funky. So I'm going to dip two fingers at a time, and I'm sorry my big old hands in the way. There's just no good way of recording this unless I had multiple cameras, which I don't. And then I'm going to clean up the excess with the toothpick, get the top of that water cleared off, and then slowly remove my nails, my fingertips from the water, kind of tap them off on the paper towel, and then I'm going to use my um, tweezers. Sorry, I couldn't think of what they were. My tweezers to get this latex off. And this is not, I don't do this beautifully either. This is, I'm um, all out of frame, all out of whack. Just, you know, but I'm really trying hard not to let that latex pop back down onto my design and ruin it. So here we go. Going to get that off of there. Oh, what a mess. But there we go. And I'm going to repeat this process again. I'm going to build up my little bullseye with alternating rings of black and clear. And uh, then I'm going to dip my other two nails. I do enjoy the water marbling. Come on, drop on there. There we go. My bottle's getting a little low. I'm not ready to open my back up yet. I'm going to get all that luscious polish out of that bottle. So here we go again. We're going to just get all crazy with it. See, it doesn't have to be, you know, like that perfect design that we always do here. 
little, little, little abstract. That's it. Abstract. That's, that's the thing I was thinking of. I dipped in real quick and I'm going to clean up this excess polish off the top of the water. I do pinch my thumb with my fingers to keep that cut from getting knocked over while I'm doing that cleanup, by the way. And then as before, I'm going to use my tweezers to remove this latex. And I'm telling you, this makes cleanup so much easier. I do have a little stubborn piece of latex here on the corner. Oh well, we'll get it. It'll come off. There we go. And I used to use tape all around my nails. And I know Colette from My Simple Little Pleasure, she uses a combination of tape and latex. But I just can't. Uh, I just go with the latex. I am going to go in with this Q-tip and some acetone to get up some of this big stuff. Some of the big mess. And I like to use them for up under the nail. You know, that little bit of free edge or on the tip of the finger. It seems to work pretty good. There we go. Doing pretty good. I'm going to get out another one. And I'm going to get up as close as I can. There we go. There's some of that little bit trying to hide up under that finger. There we go. So I really thought that this um, would be such a cool manicure, and I, and I wasn't wrong, because I really, really enjoyed wearing this one. And like I said, we didn't even have any real sunshine, and that base color screamed through that water marble design, and it was just stunning. I could not stop looking at my nails, which is saying something, as y'all know. I'm, I don't just, like, go all hog wild on a manicure, you know, talking about it. But this one absolutely blew me away. And I hope that y'all are able to see it in the swatch photos. Going around with that cleanup brush, getting that tidied up. I am going to top this one with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls today. And, yeah, I mean, even on film right here, you can catch peaks of how pretty that is. Look at that thumb. It looks like abalone. I mean, it's just crazy gorgeous. Uh, and I love that the water marble, there's some thicker lines and thinner lines, and it's just, it turned out just the way I wanted it to. I didn't know that it would turn out like that, but I wanted it to turn out just stunning and I'm not sad. <laughs> Get that glossy top cut on there and seal that in. Ugh. So it had been a little while since I did a water marble. So needless to say, I was ready for this manicure. I was ready to do some water marbling. Get that little pinky nail top coated. And I'm going to do some polish in motion action here in just a second. Just so you can see it. Excuse the phone ringing. So there's the polish in motion. Isn't it stunning? And I have a swatch photo also. Here you go. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.